ladies and gentlemen. Yes, today might be the day. Let me apologize for the audio in this video. Um, I just wanted to post this video really quick to show you we do have 20-year-old kids out there. They're not sitting home playing video games or sleeping all day, all right? This kid's a hustler. He drove two and a half hours to get to my location. He is going to purchase the mower that started my side hustle many years ago. Again, I'm proud of this kid, and I wish him well. Let's get back to it. He even brought his friend on the uh, for the ride. His friend was very polite, nice kid. Anyways, let's get back to the video, and I hope you enjoy it. Anytime you put it in gear, they have to be on. These brakes have to be on, because if you pick it in gear now, it's going to take off with you. One side doesn't, one side doesn't hold both, right? They might stop it. No, you got to go. Okay. So I've had this uh, Metro 48, I'm the original owner, it's been good to me. When I started my uh, side business cutting lawns, this is what I went for. So hopefully it serves this kid well, looks like he knows what he's doing. What do you think, kid? It's awesome. Well, let's get a thumbs up. We're going to put this as the uh, thumbnail if I can figure that one out. You want to get in the thumbnail, bro? Good. You got to get used to it. The only thing you got to get used to is those levers with your hands. Once you get the feel for it, I'm telling you, like with your hands, you you'll, swift. It, yeah, but you're gonna get the feel for when you know where your lever is, so you release. But remember, when you're putting this thing in gear, you gotta have those, you gotta have the brakes pulled up, because if you slap it in gear when you're on it, it'll, it'll start going. You know what I mean? And when you put this thing on in five speed, fifth gear, uh -huh. it's pretty quick. Okay, so I don't cut, four? yeah, I don't cut in five, because if you hit a stump or a rock or something, you're gonna get it in the chest, and trust me, when you get it once, you'll learn. But if you got a big field, two, three acre field, and you know the terrain, put it in five. Make sure your blades are sharp. I would sharpen them every two, three days if you could, if you're doing a lot of lawns. You know, a lot of guys are cutting lawns, they're not sharpening blades till the end of the week on a Friday, which is ridiculous. You know, if you got dull blades and you're at five, the cut will look nice. You won't even be cutting, it's gonna look shitty, and you're gonna have to go back. But he's got his setup, he's got the ramps, all right? He's got some tie downs. This this package deal, he's got the machine, he's got the sulky, he's got the tine rake, which all the tines are in good shape, none of them are broken. And he's got the bag. So he's got a nice start for his business. And we even threw in a hat for him. But that's it. Fine, fond farewell, you know what I mean? This thing served me well, it did, and I hope it does for you the same. Yes, Sonny.